you much. Good day and welcome to the expert discussions where we talk about everything finance. And today I'm only joined by Ruben, my colleague in Pretoria. Ruben, I know PJ is we're quite jealous of him. He's currently in, in Europe watching the Rugby World Cup. So, um, yeah, we're definitely jealous, but hopefully the Springboks can go all the way. Well, I'm going to kick us off. I just want to share a slide with you that I stumbled upon the other day. And I did share it on my LinkedIn account as well, so you might have seen this before. But it was quite interesting. So they call it the rule of 72. Because a lot of people ask, how long will it actually take for me to double my money if I invest? So the, the short rule states that if you take the number 72, and you divide it by the annual return you'll get on your investment. So let's just see if you take 72 and you get only 2% growth on your investment, it will take you 36 years for you to double your money. Because it's 72 divided by 2, 36. And that's a long way to, to wait. Plus, there's something like we mentioned before called inflation, which you definitely need to keep in mind when you uh, look at investments. So this is a U.S. job. Um, obviously, in South Africa, normally our interest rates are inflation rates higher. Sorry, so our inflation rate in South Africa is about 6%. So for any investment in South Africa, you want to at least get 6%. Um, growth on your investment and then obviously the more your investment go the shorter the period will be if you, um, for you to double your money so if we take here on this how actually was the returns over the past well this almost 100 years from 1928 till 2022 the S&P so it's uh, US equity delivered about 11.5 percent annually um, average so it's a long, long time period, but that's where we'll get the most growth. So you need to be in equities if your goal is to invest for the longer terms. And then corporate bonds, 7% gold, only 6.5% return bonds and treasury bills just get lower. So, so the main thing here is to, to get the maximum return on your investment, but know that you need to give it time in, um, in order for it to grow. So Ruben for me rule of 72 which is my well i would say quote of the week what do you have for us you mentioned something that's interesting about pps and its profit share model thank you Gio. yes yeah, as, as as you mentioned um definitely green been with envy of of pj this morning um yeah going into into the pps profit share account um pps is 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 a company that do not have um external shareholders um, so they they would like to 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 um, share their profit with with their members. Um, so every product that you that you have with PPS, portion of that premium goes towards this PPS profit share account. Um, then at the age of sixty, you're able to to vest this account, um, and we do use it as a tool to to increase or supplement your 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 retirement income. So it's it's quite powerful in that way. Um, but uh, at the end of every year, um, this year starting from the 5th of, of October, so that would be, I think, on Thursday, um, they do send communication to members um, and tell them that you do have an option um, in terms of your underlying assets uh, or portfolio construction of your PPS profit share account, and you are able to elect a portfolio for, for the next year. So members have, have from the 5th of October up to the 13th of December to, to make this, this election to, to choose the underlying portfolio. So there's, there's four portfolios. The first portfolio, um, they call the default pooled portfolio. So you would be, normally you would be, be pooled with other members that are already part of, of this portfolio. If you do not choose any other portfolio, that's where you'd be, you'd be in. Uh, this is a high equity portfolio. So a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more risky. And then there's three other portfolios, um, the fixed interest portfolio, the low equity and the medium equity portfolio. Obviously, fixed interest is, is less risk and then going all the way up to, to the default pool portfolio with, with high equity. Um, so it's pretty, pretty important um, to make this part of your, a part of your retirement planning. Um, and, and I think probably a good time anyway to, to, to look at your, at your, at your investment or, and specifically your retirement goals, um, when doing this, this election for, for 2024. Thank you, Jared. Thank you. 
Yeah, thank you, Riva. And, and like you mentioned, this can play a vital role in your retirement planning. So it's insurance products, but it can play a vital role in your retirement planning. And people always ask us now, who's the best? Is it Discovery or Momentum or PPS or Sunlum? Where should I take my insurance of? But all of them have different models. And I think it's important to understand the model. Discovery has vitality. You need to look after yourself. You need to accumulate points. And if you do it correctly and you use, you use the system correctly, it is very valuable. But then we get a lot of people that say, I don't want to go for to do tests and um, biokinetic tests and fitness tests and go to the gym every day. You know, then PPS is, is a, maybe a very good option because you don't need to do anything. You don't have to do anything for the profit share. And I think that's very important. The profit share gets automatically accumulated. So when you do get a quote, say, from PPS, you will see the profit share allocation, which is roughly about 8 to 10 percent um, of your monthly premium, everyone, if I'm correct. And that will go towards your profit share. Yes, it is a long term, because like you mentioned, only at 60, but then it's a, a tax free uh, actually payout, which is valuable for the long yeah. term. Yeah, for sure. I think it's you must remember that um, all companies have, have good pro, have good products. You know, it doesn't it doesn't matter where you go, but different products have different solutions, and these solutions fit certain individuals better than than others. Um, PPS, of course, um, has qualifying criteria being for professionals, um, but as as you mentioned, something like like Discovery, um, it does have a certain clientele. Um, the person that's a little bit more, um, you know, uh, fit and, 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 and looking after themselves. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it depends on the person. I think just important to remember that we're not giving financial advice. We're not giving any advice. We're just stating facts and our opinions around around these products and, and these companies. Yes, 100%. We're not giving advice. But the only advice I will give is to look for a, your, your investments should, should serve you, like I mentioned previously, and your insurance product as well. So know how the model works. And I think that's what's nice if you have an independent financial advisor, to be honest, because yeah. you don't compare. He doesn't, he's not going to force you to just go over this one product because if you sit with one person from one company, he's going to make it sound like the best thing in the world, and then you sit with someone else. So it's important <laughs> for the product to, to serve you and your needs. But, Riva, thank you very much for that. Uh, uh, saving you. for retirement. And then actually bringing me to my question I had from a client on Friday, and he was um, he was also uh, he was actually at Discovery, but so he wanted to know what's my retirement picture looking like and how much will I actually need at retirement. Uh, and then I asked him, "What's your household income now, month, or the amount that you do need per month?" And just for the for the exercise, we're going to say um, hundred thousand rand per month for the household. So him and his both work, so hundred thousand rand. So normally we say after retirement you will earn 75 percent of um, what you currently have to be able to sustain your lifestyle after after retirement and he was like puzzled why 75 percent it is a ballpark but why 75 percent because normally obviously after retirement you don't have to contribute to your retirement fund anymore so that's already up 10 15 percent depending on how much you um, currently set up for retirement and normally the kids will be out of the house, hopefully. And so, you know, you normally don't have university fees, you don't have school fees, groceries, bills will be less. Um, that definitely plays a big factor. Once again, normally the house will be paid off. Um, mm -hmm. Once again, this is just a ballpark to say that everybody, but this is in general. House will be paid off, so there's no more bonds, uh, bond that you have to pay, and also cars. Uh, will be paid off, so there's no more, um, you know, monthly payment towards the car. So that's normally why we get you 75. You don't have to pay off the house anymore. You don't have to pay off the car, and you don't have the kids to uh, look after. Well, we know in a lot of cases we parents still look after the kids, and then also you don't have to invest um, for retirement any um, more. Uh, and just lastly on that, I just want to actually add that we do get a lot of clients. Well, this. I want to look after to my kids and they spoil the kids and then they might not have enough for retirement. So it's very important to make sure that you're first looking after yourself. Don't spoil your kids. They have a lot of time to work. They're still young. Ruvan, like you, we can still work. You can still earn your money. Um, it shouldn't be too 
sp- yeah, spoiling their kids too much. Now, and that's we unfortunately do see that a lot, and then they can't live the retirement they actually want to. And so that's just a side note that I wanted to, to put yeah. in as well. Always, always pay yourself first. Yes, 100%. As always, do you have any questions? You can comment below. Uh, yeah, we'd like to hear from you. We've already seen some nice comments. And um, yeah, because we want to answer your questions in a truthful and straightforward manner. So please feel free to ask us anything. Ruban, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, you well, hopefully we'll, we'll see you soon. And then PJ will be back. And then we can uh, chat again. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Cheers, man.